Hey, what's up? Ken from Palm Beach Dino here. We've got Adam in the house. He's our head mechanic. Also owns this awesome CTSV. Yup, GM on the Palm Beach Dino Dino. And we're testing this beautiful intake from TTR on it. It's a twin turbo setup. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Uh, I don't know anything about these, so I guess start with the engine configuration. Yeah, so it's a 5.3 truck engine that I had sleeved with Darton sleeves. It's got a uh, 423 setup in it right now. Sounds pretty healthy. What kind of cams in it? It's got a custom spec from Martin Smallwood. What about the uh, heads? The heads are just Trick Flow 255 out the box. Cool. And then, so it's a twin turbo, I guess they're underneath the car? Yeah, it's a bottom out twin turbo kit that I pretty much just threw together. That's awesome. So you did all the, you fat yeah, it yourself? I did, did all the fat myself. That's awesome. Uh, and it's just got, you know, cheap turbos on it? It's or? got China Pulsar turbos, nothing fancy, nothing crazy. Awesome. So, you know, we're testing it on this application, obviously, because Adam works here and it's easy access and he does some of the tuning on it. So it's easy for us to make any changes here live. But we also just wanted to test it. You know, what are we going to try to lay down somewhere around a thousand, high 900, thousand horsepower? Yeah, around a thousand and see where it picks up over 7,000, hopefully with this intake. Yeah, so we're going to see exactly, you know, how it works on, you know, it's not like some insane 1800 horsepower setup. I yeah. guarantee this is going to work. That's just a stock intake, right? Yeah, it's just a stock LS3 oh, yeah. intake manifold on there. <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and do some baseline hits, and then we'll swap the intake over and see how much it picks up. Eighty-seven, nine, twelve, showing a peak of seventeen, but it looks like we're getting a little bit of boost creep or boost is rising with RPM. Maybe that's intake. Who knows? Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see exact. We're gonna just run it on this exact same duty cycle and kind of see what the shape of the curve is. But saying seventeen, but if you look at peak powers at sixty-five, it's really making closer to sixteen psi. And that's probably about, or even before there, where we're hoping to see it just do that. So let's get the intake on, see what happens. Getting it all set up. A little limp there. Yeah. <laughs> that's all we can come up with for now. That should work okay. This is just for test. Uh, what we did on the GT500 manifold is we had them add a spot for a map sensor. so. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that on next versions. All right, Adam got it all ready to pull the manifold off, so here we go. Those may be wondering in the Ford world why this pipe is so large. It's uh, because uh, it's tuned with mass air, and it's just easier to go with a larger pipe and use the stock mass air, but we might have to get PMAS involved in that issue. All right. Well, there they are. Obviously very, very, very different intakes. And this one we're just going to be scratching the surface on. The higher you go up in power, I suspect, the bigger difference it's going to make, really. Uh, but I'm hoping for a big RPM difference here. So, all right. Whew. Man, can't wait to see it on there. Man, what's that? what's the whole point of having the ports on the heads crooked and then the then you gotta thread them crooked so just gm life yeah no push rod life i don't know the godzilla's even got a flat head now so it's all that torque <laughs> yeah All right, Adam's got the intake swapped on this unit, and man, it looks phenomenal on there. Let me back up a little bit so you can see the whole car. It looks really, really killer. It's got a carbon fiber hood on there to match, but let's see what kind of power it makes.
right, here we go. Almost identical boost. We've got 115 horsepower at 7,200 RPM. And even at peak power, it went from 987 to 1064. That is uh, 67, 77 horsepower. Just a manifold. And obviously, once you go up in boost, up in power, the gains are just going to get bigger and bigger. This type of stock intake is just going to hold you back more and more. And the TTR is just going to keep going to the moon. So I would say this is 100% success. It doesn't always work out like this. Uh, but it did exactly what you might expect with the specifications on these intakes is it lost a little bit down low, but it picked a ton up top. So in this case, in my opinion, you're absolutely better off with this gained power up top. And if anything, maybe you may have to play with the converter a little bit to get the car to leave at the drag strip. Although I would try it just like this and see what you get. Uh, if you look at just the torque curve, that tells you even more of the story, which I like to go by horsepower curves more than anything. But when you look at the torque curve, it's not so much that it lost torque. I mean, it lost compared to the other intake, but you can see the stock intake's got a peaky torque, uh, torque band, and then it falls off. This is, you know, from say 5,000 all the way through 65 and even seven, it's fairly flat, which obviously is reflected in the horsepower. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this testing video. Thanks to Adam for doing all the work. All I had to do was videotape and talk. That's something new for me. Uh, like the channel, share it with your friends, and we'll see you on the next one.